Hi, this is AZ David CA helping you copy DVDs with the free program Handbrake. Step one is first getting the program Handbrake. You can either do, do this by typing it into Google and it is the first hit. Or you can go to their website at http handbrake handbreak.fr On the website you should go to the downloads link and then choose what you are and make sure to pick pick which operating system you are and pick the graphical user interface option Here is the Windows version of Handbrake the Mac version is similar. Over here is the different qual pr quality presets. I generally do either normal or QuickTime, since both of them are the fullest quality and will work with an iPod. For this video, I'll be copying a video from the DVD that came with the Led Zeppelin album, Mothership. Specifically, I'll be copying Black Dog. You can't see that, but okay. To pick what you need to copy, you need to see where it says Source. Go over to where it says Browse. Browse and select the DVD you want to copy. However, on Windows computers, it says no titles found. Please make sure you have selected a valid co non copy protected source. Please refer to the FAQ See Help Manual. Well, the Windows version stops you from copying in copy protected DVDs, but the Mac version does not have this problem. For Windows to de encrypt DVDs, I like using the program called free DVD decryptor. It's of course is free. It the only downside is that it bugs you to donate money. You need to select the DVD, then select where you want to put it. I suggest just the desktop so that it's easier to find. If I can find the desktop. And then you click save to PC. This does take a fair amount of hard drive space though. For this DVD it takes 7.3 gigabytes. Depending on the size of the DVD it takes anywhere from 3 to 15 minutes. Once you have your video file select it under browse and hit OK. It scans it, which as you just saw, goes fairly quickly. The next step is to find out exactly what you want to copy. To do this, you open the folder that you put it in, go to the video TS folder, and generally, but not always, click on the first first file that is ends in IFO. When you click on that, it opens your DVD player. You then want to browse to exactly what you want to copy. You can copy anywhere from a whole movie to an individual chapter with handwrite. So for this, I want to go to chapter 11 which should be black dog which it is I can now close my DVD program and and go back to handbrake Over at the title section, you pretty much always want to select the longest one. 
The short ones are usually the FBI anti-piracy warnings and the like. So I select that. Then I saw Black Dog was chapter 11. So I select under the first bar I select chapter 11 and the second bar I select chapter 11. If I wanted to copy Black Dog and the next track together I would have done chapter 11 and chapter 12. The only other major step is where you want to put the file and what you want to call it. I suggest putting it on the desktop and calling it something logical. Like for example for this I would call it black dog live and then hit save. These settings down here under the picture settings tab all have to do with the video. Like over here it's if you want to crop the video. Under the video tab you change the various video quality things. I would suggest leaving it how it is except for if you have a slow computer you might want to change over here where it says two pass encoding. That basically means it copies the video twice but it makes it a lot better quality. Under the chapters tab you can rename what all the chapters are called which is useless for what I'm doing right now but if you wanted to copy a whole movie that feature is quite useful. Once you finally get the settings how you like it you go over to the add to queue button. You hit it and it brings up a window with all the files it's going to convert. If you wanted to, you could set up 20 different videos to convert and it would automatically convert them all. But for this, I'm just doing one. When you finally have all the videos in the queue, you go up to the encode button, sit back and go away for a while. While you're waiting for your video to copy, I might suggest eating chips. doing push-ups. Remodel a kitchen. When the video or video is finished converting, encode cube completed should pop up. You can now close handbrake and, and to test if the file works, you should open with QuickTime. And it, hallelujah, it works. You can then drag the file into your iTunes library, and then you can do whatever you want with it including put it on your iPod odd, or watch it on your computer. One final note on copying DVDs. Don't copy them and then give them to your friends. That's just like stealing. Just don't do that. Uh, it, in the United States it is illegal to copy copy protected DVDs but in my opinion, it's alright to copy them as long as you don't give the DVDs to someone else. Alright, that's all. That's how you copy DVDs.